My name is Alan Carroll. My name is Claude Carroll. My name is Fiona Hyatt. My name is John. I love to to court music works. Well, I come every week, every Wednesday, mm -hmm. every Wednesday night at half six. How long have you been coming to court music works? Three years. Four years. Okay. Four! <laughs> you must have been one of the first people ever in court music works, right? Oh, that's probably so. I think you were. You were here at the very start, weren't you? Mm -hmm. And who was in charge when you started? Was Evelyn Grant? Yeah, Evelyn Grant. Well, how Cork Music Works came about really initially was just a meeting I had with a music therapist, Judith Breerton. And Judith and I talked about that there was this gap really between what was available for people with a learning disability through music therapy and what was available in music education. There was a lot happening in organisations, but not really in terms of public performance. So we decided to set up Cork Music Works and very much geared towards Cork 2005. I think at the beginning of 2002 we knew that the designation for culture and capital was there. So we had a very strategic plan, a pilot project of three years and really I suppose it was to end after 2005 but we staged a huge project in 2005 with Open Arts from Belfast, a commission for a new piece from Johnny McCarthy, a multimedia piece City Hall concert with the Cork Pops Orchestra. It was a huge undertaking and we worked towards it really in the two years coming up to that. We played concerts with uh, the Cork Youth Orchestra, we were in the Cork School of Music, out in CIT, various things. And Cork 2005 really was to be the culmination of our efforts, both to use uh, new music technology with people with learning disability and to stretch ourselves as musicians to see what kind of teaching strategies we could come up with uh, to really bring out the potential of people with learning disability. And what do you like the most about the Cork Music Works? It's the way to Amarillo, and it ain't like a hawk in my pillow. Jimmy G for Amarillo, that's a Marie who waits for me. And what was your favourite event? Have you been doing anything this year with Cork Music Works? Where did you go? I went to, um, to, to, um, Kilkenny. Wow, what did you do in Kilkenny? We were doing a, a show. How did you go to Kenny? The bus. On the bus? Mm -hmm. for the special Olympics. You do a concert in Cork one somewhere in Cork. Where in the that? Opera House. In the Opera House? Look, this is a hall. In the City Hall. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah.
performances one of the big challenges for us is whether it's about planning a performance for the group or whether you identify particular individuals within the group whose potential maybe can be stretched further than others and how you balance that with the resources of both workshop leaders time all sorts of things there for example uh, we discovered mary murphy to have really special talent very special commitment to learning carl murphy no relation but another great talent from a very musical family Beautiful singer, very interested, very committed. Hi Mary, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You're really good in the old harp there. Thank you very much. Do you what? know what? I do a lot of practicing every day. Some of them can be very hard at times. Yeah, but I have to concentrate on my music and I can look around, look sideways or up in the ceilings or anywhere. Mm. How long have you been playing it now? Since the class, um, three years. Three years? You're that good after three years? <laughs> yes. We've been very lucky with uh, very creative workshop leaders who were prepared to try out things like songwriting techniques, uh, drumming, um, music technology, sound beams, uh, movement. We've tried all sorts of things, drama. <laughs> music works is at maybe now at the moment uh, one part of it is there's no doubt there's a need for it both from the point of view of the people with the learning disability and also from the point of view of the musicians both professional and amateur who are working in this area we all have lots to learn and we're all getting loads out of the work itself the other side of it is the challenge of keeping it all going because while you're working away on the creative ideas and the challenges of just getting the whole thing to work, funding is an issue, uh, just the whole company side of it, the whole teamwork side of it. There are a lot of challenges there and a lot of skills in the project management side of it that take a lot of energy to keep going. I think it's the passion and the energy that comes back from the group that will sustain the work and keep it going because I know it's valuable, I know it's very valuable to all of us, to the musicians, to the people with the learning disability and to the society that are the beneficiaries of the work that's evolving here. Yeah.